Better? No. All the money. Sometimes when you're in a bad situation and you're a real person with some real issues, all the money in the world, it don't matter what kind of car you drive, what kind of house you're in, all that matters is that you get a touch from God. If you got to push through, if you got to fast, if you got to call into work, if you got to give your last dollar, whatever it is you got to do, I just got to touch the hem of his garment. Yes. Hallelujah. Because I'm real. It isn't real to say you won't have an issue. It isn't real to say you won't have a problem. It isn't real to say that I can do it all by myself. The Bible says everything you do without God is considered nothing. Amen. Faith people say, I have no issues. <laughs> and I don't need God. Well. You ever ran into one of those people? I don't need God. Uh -huh. And they obviously do. They come walking in. I don't need God. Yes, you do. <laughs> but you ain't real. You ain't be real with me. Let me be real with you. Sometimes you know what? All I need is God. All I need is a touch. All I need is a word. All I need is a sermon. All I need is, is a prophecy. All I need is a scripture. All I need is for God to do something in my life because I'm real. Amen. Fake people, I don't need you. Sometimes we, we, we compare ourselves with the world and we, and we don't realize that they're not rooted and we don't realize that they are uh, serving the Lord. But on the outside, they look, they look so good. I told you a, while, uh, a few minutes ago that at one point this plant had no leaves. It just had dirt. And over time, it sprouted out again. And I think that, that that's what happens in our lives. That sometimes you look at the pastor, sometimes you look at deacon, sometimes you look at bishop, sometimes you look at sister so-and-so, sometimes you look at brother so-and-so, and when you look at them on the outside, it's obvious that their leaves are wiltering. It's obviously that there's some dead things that have attached themselves to them. It's obviously that their branches are broken, and they come in, and they expose them because I'm real. If I'm sad, I'm going to tell you I'm sad. If I'm hurting, I'm going to tell you I'm hurting. If I'm broken, I'm going to tell you I'm broken because if if you are ever, ever in a relationship with the Almighty God and you have the spirit of discernment, you will discern that there is something real about me and there's some dead things attacked and there's some broken things attacked and there's some things that we've gone through. And it's like, man, just look at me. Amen. There is a word called dormancy. Your trees and your grass do it every fall. They go Dormant. The grass, the grass goes dormant and it turns brown and it looks dead on the outside, but on the inside, it's just, it's just, it's just protecting itself from the weather. Your trees lose leaves every fall, see, and they begin to go dormant, and all the leaves fall off of the tree. All the fruit falls off the tree and they become dormant. And from the outside, it looks like they're dead. But on the inside, they are alive. On the inside, the roots are growing stronger and the roots are going deeper. And the next spring comes around, it seems like the leaves, there's more leaves this year than last year. There's more fruit this year than last year. My roots are deeper this year than last year. And you notice that after time goes by, you drive by and you, re you realize what season people are in. By the way, their leaves are showing. This one don't ever, it never gets brown. But this plant will never grow either. Every year, it will look the same. This plant has potential to grow. And then you take a leaf and you put it in water, and you get some roots, and you grow another plant. And then you get some leaves, and you put it in water, and it grow. This one will, This one always looks good, but it isn't real. This one may look bad at times, but it's got the potential to bloom into something I've never seen. It's got the potential to grow to a place I could never imagine. Because sometimes, see, fake people always... They always green on the outside. It's my season. 
the season are you in? If you're in a season of dormancy right now, I want you to know that in that dormancy, your roots are growing deeper. Sometimes you need to go down to come up. Sometimes my roots need to get a little bit stronger before it can handle the fruit. Sometimes my roots need to grow a little stronger before they can handle the fruit that God wants to give me. See, if I'm a little apple tree and God puts a bunch of big apples, it's going to snap the branch. But as that apple tree grows stronger and stronger and stronger, I remember one year we used to live in Pueblo, we used to live in my, my uh, great-grandpa's house, and he had an apple tree and a cherry tree. And we went on vacation, and when we left, there were plenty of apples and there were plenty of cherries, but they weren't ripe. When we got back from vacation, the birds ate all the cherries. <laughs> But that winter, they fell in the fruit and it was gone. I might look dormant right now. I may feel dormant and I may be dormant right now. But when my season come around and it's time for me to bloom and my branches can hold on to the fruit, I have the potential of feeding so many people off of my dormancy today because God is making me stronger even when it looks to you Amen. like God ain't moving. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> because it isn't real. You know, makes me think about Samson. Samson. Samson was a promise breaker, not a promise keeper. God told him, all I want to do is three things. All you got to do is three things. Don't cut your hair. Don't eat any uh, any dead thing. And don't drink no wine. Don't drink no alcohol. That's all. I, that's all. Well, that's it. And you know what? He did all three. <laughs> he did all three. Broke all the promises. But on the last... <coughs> On the last time that Samson prayed, they had plucked his eyeballs out, they had shaved his head, and they had made him push around a grinder. But on his last day here on earth, the Bible says that his hair began to grow back. As you can see, I'm far from Samson. I want a story in the Bible, and maybe God will give me one about a man who grew stronger with the less hair he had. Amen. <laughs> On the last day of Samson's life, he stood between two pillars, and the Bible says that his hair began to grow back because Samson's roots were deep. That no matter how it looked like on the outside, See, the good thing, that always look good, sometimes looks good, sometimes looks bad, always looks good, sometimes looks good, sometimes looks bad. Look, the good, the, but see, sometimes it's going to look good. Sometimes it's going to fall in my favor. Sometimes my leaves are going to sprout. Sometimes my fruit is going to grow. And I'll, because my roots, because of my, and Samson had deep roots. And on his last day on earth, he put himself, positioned himself in between two pillars. And when they were mocking him and making fun of him and parading him around as a disgrace and parading him around as a failure and parading him around as somebody that they had conquered, he began to pray one last time. Time. And he said, Father, give me strength one more time because I'm real and I've made some mistakes and I'm sorry that I broke some promises and I'm sorry that I broke your law and I'm sorry that I came against who you are, but I'm real and I'm really crying out to you right now and I'm so real that if you just touch me one more time and God touched him and he pushed the pillars and all the buildings fell and he killed more people in his last prayer than he ever ever killed in his entire life. Real people will always win in the end because they're real. Let a storm come. Let a storm end up going to blow over my little fake plant. Let the storm come and take my butt in it and let it even blow all my leaves off. But you know what? The storm will never affect my roots. Hallelujah. serve God with my feelings. I serve God with all my heart and soul. Here's the problem. The problem is, is that we want to come in and we want to feel God. 
I got to admit, when I came to church Wednesday after being gone for a week and missing church Sunday, I couldn't wait to get here Wednesday and feel God. We want to feel, make me feel better. You treat the pulpit you treat, you're like a prostitute. Make me feel better. I just want to feel better right now, but I don't want to commit to a full relationship. Just call it. But see, when you serve God with all your heart, and you don't, it don't matter how I feel, I got to go to church. It don't matter how I feel. I've got to get with God. It don't matter if I feel like praying, I've got to pray. It don't matter if I feel like giving, I've got to give. It don't matter if I feel like fasting. It's funny because we're preparing for a fast in my household, and I've been eating everything. Because I know when that fast starts, I ain't going to be able to eat anything. So even when I don't feel like it, I say, I'm going to drink it now just because I can't drink it later. There's just like this much left of Pepsi in the two liter, and I was full. And I said, you know what, I, I, I'd rather drink it now and remember later than to not drink it and say, I wish I would have drank it because now I can't drink anything. <laughs> but it don't matter how you feel. I don't serve God with how I feel. I don't serve God with how you make me feel. I don't serve God with how others make me feel. I only serve God because he has my heart and he has my soul. Yes, amen. I don't just feel good. I don't just want God to make me feel good. I want to know him. And I don't want it to be about how I feel. I want it to be about what I know. I know that it may look bad on the outside, but I know on the inside God is doing something. I know that I don't look fake on the outside. I know that some days I come in and I don't look ready and I don't look prepared and I don't look like I can handle it. But on the inside, see, God is doing something because you know that... See, I, I, I don't worry too much about certain men and women of God because I know they're seeking his face. I know they have a relationship with God. So it's like, what could I possibly tell you? If you talk to God, what could I possibly say to you? Because I know that on the inside of a real man, God is working on them. I don't just... I don't just lust, but I love. That's good preaching. I, God don't make me feel guilty. God convicts me. When, when you feel guilty, you'll say things like, I ain't been to church, and I'm not going to go to church, and I ain't give, and I'm not going to give, and I feel guilty every time I go in there, and I feel bad, and I feel like everybody's staring at me, and I feel like everybody knows my business, so I'm not going over there, and you feel guilty. But when you have a relationship with God, God will convict you. And you'll say, you know what, I ain't been giving, but I got to get there so I can start giving. I ain't been praying, but I got to start I gotta start praying right now because I feel the conviction. I feel like I need to get closer to God. I, I feel like I need to start doing what God wants me to do. I, I feel convicted, and conviction will always push you towards God, and guilt will always push you away from him. Uh, a fake one that isn't real will always feel guilty, but someone that is real will always feel convicted. Amen. Amen. I, I, I wrote this down. See if you bear witness. I don't worry. I carry a burden. <laughs> I got a burden for my light bill. I don't worry about it, but I got a burden for it. I don't worry about my rent, but I got a burden for it. You understand what I'm saying? That way when God come in and pay it, that way when God come in and move on, he releases you from that burden. And I never worried about it, but I always prayed about it. I'm not just happy, but I'm joyful. See, the enemy wants you to be happy, but God will give you joy. Yeah. It says joy unspeakable. So I'm not just happy, but I have joy because I'm real. And when you're real and you're like this, watch this. Watch this. Is 
that need. 